Today's topic is going to be a purebred German Shepherd or mix. Which one's better for you? So what are the pros? What are the cons? We're going to get into all that. First one is the price. You could get a purebred. We got ours here. We paid $800 for him. And we have our mix. We got her for free. So it's going to vary from wherever you live. The price is going to be the, the purebred you're going to pay. And the mix you're probably going to pay little to nothing or nothing at all. Depending on where you live. So if you want to just get a free dog or a cheap dog, the mix will probably be better for you. You want to spend money. Money is not an issue for you. Purebred might be good for you. That depends on you. This is where they're going to differ the most. Their temperament. The most of what you're going to decide on is going to be the temperament. They're both more than likely going to be loyal, protective, but it depends on their genetics too. So if their genetics are a mix that is Malinois German Shepherd, their temperament's going to be totally different than what purebred German Shepherd is. So look at that. Our mix, which is a lab or it could be a chesapeake german shepherd we don't know but she is right here i don't know if you guys could see her she she is i don't we don't know what she is drop a comment maybe you guys could tell she's either a chesapeake shepherd or a lab shepherd but let us know in the comments what you think she is but like our mix she's very laid back she's very protective if anybody comes in the door, she does not like anybody coming to the door at all, period. But we also got her in COVID, so she didn't get any socializing with anybody or any dogs except for that's in her pack. But she is very protective, but she doesn't have the drive as our purebred who thinks he needs to play fetch 24 hours a day and not miss a heartbeat. Or you might have a german shepherd that is just laid back it just depends on who they are but i could almost be positive you're gonna get the loyal dog you're gonna get the protective dog and basically with german shepherd you know you're gonna get a high energy dog he is gonna be loyal he's gonna be protective 99 percent of the time but with the mix it depends on what the other mix is. It depends what the mother is. It depends what the father is. If it's going to pull more from the German Shepherd side. Or if it's going to pull from the other the other breed side. So you need to put that in a factor. But the temperament is going to be the most key factor on which one is going to be best for you. So And your lifestyle. Trainability is the next key. Both of our shepherds or mix purebred whatever we call we always call them our sheppies even though she's a mix we still consider her a sheppy but the trainability both very 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 easy to train now the german shepherds a little i'd i'd say she was a little bit or he was a little bit easier to train on other things they were both pretty easy to train but then again, it goes back to what I said before this. It depends on what the other side of the mix is. Some dogs are harder to train than the others. It's just, it's just a fact. Shepherds are in the top three of the easiest dogs to train. And that's just how it is. But they're, both of ours were very easy to train. You just got to figure out if they're food driven, if they're, they like toys or they need praise. One of the three. You just figure out which one they they like the most and you just roll with it and you should be good. So train trainability could be a factor, but it can be a factor. It just depends on, like I said, the personality and the traits you get with the mix and what personality your pure purebred will have. You should be able to know as as soon as you pick your puppy up of what kind of personality it's going to be it's going to be pretty lazy it's going to be high strung it's going to be wild you, you should be able to tell when you when you first get your puppy so with those those are the main factors so do you get a purebred do you get a mix 
Well, it depends on your lifestyle, your money situation, your what you're looking for. But from our experience, there hasn't been anything disappointing, wrong. We've not had any issues with ours. We love them both. Let me know in the comments if you prefer me to be on camera talking to you guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.